Hello everybody, Jake Terrio here at Subpixel, certified LEGO aficionado. You may have seen my videos here about the history of LEGO Racers 3, my LEGO Racers 2 review, my history of several early LEGO media and LEGO interactive titles, my history of the LEGO Matanui online game, LEGO Universe, um, I might be missing some in there. I talk about LEGO a lot because I love it. And um, on several of those videos, now that it's been a week since the trailer launched, several of you have been asking about my insights and impressions of the recently released LEGO 2K Drive trailer. Recently released, recently announced LEGO 2K Drive. And we're here to talk about that. But first we'll just do my just gut reactions. One of my very first gut reactions was just that I feel the title is preponderously stupid. LEGO 2K Drive. I feel like most fans of LEGO games, especially now with, with all, all of the TT games, you, you know, your LEGO Star Wars, your LEGO Marvel, LEGO Harry Potter, LEGO Indiana Jones, LEGO whatever, those games are made for children, not for... 29-year-olds uh, who played LEGO Racers back in 1999 and, and have been clamoring for a proper sequel for the better part of two decades. I don't know if kids these days are familiar with the 2K brand as, like, you know, 2K whatever. Um, I know that that uh, th our, on, on Subpixel's local chat, Will had talked about how he wondered if perhaps the 2k branding was because down the road they were gonna do other 2k branded lego titles like lego 2k golf or lego 2k you know table tennis who knows but i i, I feel like part of it is 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 publisher hubris that 2k has enough market pull that they're like, yeah, we're not going to call it LEGO Racers 3, we're going to call it LEGO 2K Drive, or, or we're not even going to soft reboot it and just call it LEGO Racers, we're going to call it LEGO 2K Drive. And I don't know, that just feels really weird to me, and uh, I don't like it, so. But, I think that we are past the point in which we can reasonably expect most game developers to really put in the effort to make a kart racer like original flavor lego racers was that's not to say obviously there are still many popular kart racers but i think that you have to i think developers that are making kart racers now are only making them because they have a pool of already popular licensed properties and characters to pull from that's why mario kart is the biggest one but then there's a, a Sonic kart racer. I believe there's a Crash Bandicoot kart racer. There, I think, is a Nickelodeon kart racer. And Disney has one on the way. But nowadays, most racing titles are Forza-likes or Need for Speed-likes. And that's what it seems LEGO 2K Drive will be. It's going to be another open-world... Forza-like type thing, which that's not to say that LEGO hasn't done that, because LEGO Racers 2 had several uh, open-world portions, and that was a, a, a key point of contention amongst fans of the, the franchise, which at that point was, you know, just two games, one and two. But I think in the 10 years, no, 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 hold on, I don't know why I said 10 years, in the 22 years... In the 22 years since a formal LEGO racing title was released, I just really wanted another kart racer. Small, curated tracks, like hand handcrafted curated tracks. You could build your car, you could go through the, you know, the four track circuits or whatever, and that would be what we got. I still think they should put LEGO racers on Switch. I think it would be perfect on the Switch. But that's not what we're getting. We are getting an open world Forza like with a lot of more arcadey type Lego elements. Now, all that said, having watched the trailer and having watched uh, GameSpot did uh, a more extended uh, look at the game uh, where they talked through a lot of the features and, and, and showed some more of the stuff, uh, some more of the gameplay as it would happen in real time, I. I'm interested, certainly, very interested, certainly, um, but I wonder if 
they are spreading the game a little too thin. They mentioned there's a there's a story mode, but there's also mini games and challenges and and I can't remember if they said there were quests, but there's just a lot going on. And that was always my problem with the more modern racers like Forza Horizon and Gran Turismo 7 that there was just too much happening. There was too much going on and I wanted a more refined, curated racing experience where I could quickly get in and out of racing as fast as I wanted to. And that was, you know, Lego racers, you queue up a circuit, you pick your driver, bada bing bada boom, you're in the race. I also am hesitant as to the Mario Kart style power-ups, because the ones that were mentioned in the GameSpot preview seem to be more along the lines of as they were in LEGO Racers 2 and obviously in things like Mario Kart, where it's just a roulette wheel item select that doesn't really fit into the LEGO mold of, of LEGO as a gameplay formula. We've never really gotten that perfect distillation of the lego play experience as a a power-up mechanic as we did in racers one where you could pick up the colored brick and then you could pick up white bricks to power that brick to power that initial power up to a bigger grander thing um and i just thought that was that was so cool and that's what the devs at high voltage talked about in their developer diaries when they were making the game is they wanted to create a power-up system for their kart racer that felt right for a lego mold and i just don't see how the roulette wheel mystery box style power-ups will ever be that um so it's sad to me that 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 they did not return to the tactical brick select brick powering up item select mechanic of LEGO Racers 1. I worry that this is going to be kind of a downer's impression video because I I feel like perhaps more so than the common games enthusiast, I, I have very exacting standards as to what I would like a LEGO Racing game to be. That said, I think there is obviously a lot to look forward to. I like the the uh, transforming to traverse different terrains kind of mechanic. I think the the world looks really well fleshed out, even for being you know an open world Forza like. The destructibility seems interesting. It does seem like they're taking the the destroying opponents' vehicles to charge up your boost from Lego Racers 2. Uh, into 2k drive with the variety of vehicle types the transforming vehicles over different terrain i was i was getting some lego island extreme stunts vibes um because that had a lot of different mission variety in that you know one mission you're driving a car and one mission you're driving a boat and one mission you're driving a plane or a helicopter and you could use all those different types of vehicles around the island and for whatever reason, this was reminding me a lot of that, maybe if if just texturally than anything else. I think in terms of just the overall aesthetic, the overall uh, vibe of the game, it's kind of, it's interesting to me that they're just kind of leaning into this open world Forza-like thing instead of curating their biomes around specific lego themes like they did in racers one and two you know johnny thunder was in lego racers one and then you had the whole adventurers theme section in lego racers two and the arctic and mars um and zalix which was just kind of broadly the racers theme at the time i i got my you know my lego my easter lego easter catalog and i guess flipping through it they don't really have a ton of no, they don't really have a ton of themes to pull from right now, unless they did, you know, like Ninjago, a Ninjago area. They've got race cars. Ninjago race cars, why not do a Ninjago area? Or or something. This is not an exhaustive representation of what LEGO has out right now. Let me maybe pull up the website. Uh, shop. I want to see the shop. Sets by theme, sure. Let's uh, let's search that. Okay, yeah, architecture, Batman, brickheads, brick sketches, city. Yeah, I guess they just don't have a lot of original properties 
on the market right now. Um, okay, so that's weird. I don't know. If you're making a Lego, if you're making a Lego racing game, make a Lego racing game. That's what Lego Racers One was. That's what Lego Two was. They, those games were both undeniably Lego. And Lego 2K Drive, as it sits right now, me not having played the hands-on and the game's not coming out till May, it just feels like that Forza Horizon. 5, Forza, whatever, that Forza expansion, the Speed Champions Forza DLC, that just felt like a Lego skin slapped over a Forza game. That's just what this feels like to me right now. But that doesn't mean that they can't go back and pull from classic properties. Your Adventurers, your 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 Rock Raiders, and I think Power Miners was kind of the spinoff from Rock Raiders. Exo Force would be crazy. Um, there are a ton of space properties you could do the classic space like lego benny super popular ever since the lego movie do a classic space zone there yeah there were the mars missions there have been several space themes since then there was like a uh, bounty hunter one whose name escapes me there have been several underwater uh themes there was an atlantis theme and there have just been a couple of kind of generic underwater exploration themes but that could be a cool environment so by way of conclusion, I'm sure a lot of this comes across as nitpicky or critical or unduly negative, but uh, I just, I really love LEGO Racers, and I would like a good LEGO Racers game. So I am optimistic that LEGO 2K Drive, at the very least, plays well and is fun, even if it's not what my perfect version of a LEGO racing game would be. So we will see. Uh, I don't know if more preview material will come out between now and May, uh, but we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that. And when the game comes out in May, you can definitely expect that Subpixel will uh, release a long, overwrought review, analysis, history, whatever, of LEGO 2K Drive, because that seems to be what y'all expect of me at this point. And uh, I would not want to let you down so until then you know play lego racers play lego racers too and play island extreme stunts this game does not get enough love everybody talks about lego island and lego island 2 but extreme stunts is pretty great so yeah i have been jake terrio this has been first impressions of 2k drive i guess i'll see you on may 18th vroom vroom Did you like our video? If you did, you should like it. If you really liked it, you should comment on it. And if you super liked it, you should subscribe. Thanks for watching.